Shalom. In this week's parsha, Parshat Vayishlach, Yaakov is preparing himself to meet his brother Esav. He prepares himself by diving to Kesh Baruch Hu, Bitfila, Bidoron. He sends him presents, a bribery, but he also prepares himself for the worst scenario, Le Milchama, for war. Where do we see that in this week's parsha? The answer is that later on in parsha, Yaakov has a fight with an angel. The angel, tell us Chazal, is the angel of Esau. And interestingly enough, after the battle is over, where Yaakov seems to win the battle, even though he comes out with a bat, with a sore leg, Yaakov's name is changed to Israel. Why is his name changed? It could be because at this point Yaakov proves that he's willing to stand up to Esau, not only by giving bribery to him and by giving him presents, but he's also willing to fight. Yaakov changes from Yaakov, being the person who's always behind Esau, following Esau, being scared of Esau, to Israel, Yashar, he stands up straight before Esau, he confronts him, he's willing to fight with him. There's a famous story about the Baal Shem Tov who was interested to find out who would be his neighbor in the world to come. He was told to go in the forest and to meet this gentleman who lives in some hut in the middle of the forest. When he met him, he saw in front of him this big, huge man who was eating without stopping. All day long he was eating. He asked him, excuse me, why are you eating so much? What is it with you? What makes you so special? What makes you eat so much? His answer was, I'll tell you a story. My father and I was, were walking once in the forest when the Cossacks caught us. They took out a cross, put it on the floor, and they said to my father, Jew, kiss the cross. My father said no. And as a result, they poured kerosene on him, lit a match, and burned my father alive. My father was a very small man, and the flames that came out of him were very small. No one around noticed that a Jew was being killed. I made an oath that day that if the Cossacks ever catch me and make me kiss a cross, I will eat so much, I will become so big that I will be able to burst into flames that will light up the whole area. And everyone around us will see that a Jew is not willing to kiss a cross. But there's another version to this story, which goes that the man said, I'm eating so much to become big and strong, because if the Cossacks ever come to me, I will fight them back. These are two stories about Jewish survival in Jewish history. The first story about how Am Yisrael stood in Misrut Nefesh, died for what we believe in. And yet the second story is about how we stood before Esau and fought back. Yaakov and Israel. Yaakov in the Galut being Moser Nefesh, but Israel, a new generation who stands up and fights and confronts Esau. Shabbat Shalom.